easily the most talked about, studied part of the story of Adam and Eve is the fall. But I want to look now to what happens right after that. So God called out to the man and said to him, where are you? There's no cancel culture here. He knows. God knows where he is. God knows what has been done. God knows the choice to disobey his word, to separate from him, and he walks in the cool of the garden and says, where are you? And he said, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so he hid. Then God asked, who told you that you were naked? Did you eat from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? Again, all of this God knows, but he is intentionally engaging in relationship. The brokenness, the separation is not without hope because God is faithful. Because God's covenant endures. He sticks with him. He goes to him. He asks. He provides for him. He talks to him. Yes, he talks through the ramifications of what has been done, but he does it with him. Can you see that? God is still speaking. God has spoken, God is still speaking, and these words are a matter of life and death. Do you hear this? This is not, oh, should I listen to God today? This is not, did God really say, I don't know if he really means that, because that's not a very nice thing. God's words are a matter of life and death. 